don't know. Bandit King. Hmm. Is that you? Mr. Hardy. How you doing, sir? Fucking Put your fucking up hands up, Dimitri! God damn it. Hold on, um, let me cuff hey, him. Don't move. Don't move. Alright. I gotta stay strong for Lady Justice. You'll sleep well tonight, don't you worry about that. You did your job, detective. Yeah, it's been quite the lonely place around here. But you know what doesn't get lonely? <coughs> what? Crime. Crime always says company. Alright, so what is it that I call you exactly? You got yourself a name and alias? Dominic. Dominic? Who would you be? Uh, well, I used to be a detective, but my name's Hardy. Not right. Hardy. How would you, uh. How would you feel, Dominic, about calling this place your home? And maybe, uh. putting your life to a better purpose? Sounds like something to do for fun. I don't think this is gonna be nothing fun, Dominic. There's nothing fun about justice. Right. And who who exactly do you answer to for justice? Lady Justice. Okay. I'm sure you do, bud. I'm sure. The city. Electro. Nothing but crime. This is where all the gangbangers come. The rapists, the cannibals. It took me, uh, it took me like four days fighting tooth and nail to take this uh, police station back. A bunch of drug addicts lived in here oh. before. That's very really interesting. Yeah. This world, this world, Dominic. It's plunged right down the shitter. And we, we Dominic, we could be the Drano. We could be the plunger that lifts the shit back up from the pipes and clears the drain of corruption and crime. Okay. Are you with me, Dominic? I'm not sure. All right. Training I mean, begin. I've always been one for not being an asshole. Um, yeah, it sounds right. Training begins at sunrise. Get yourself some rest. I'll be at my well, office. I, mean, I just slept three hours. Oh. Oh. Well. Okay. Sunrise. Right. You, know, you know how long the uh, till set means, by the way. I think like um, maybe five minutes. It's starting to get sunrise right now. If you can't tell, we could probably start from now because it's easy to see. Ah, well, aren't you a fucking detective? All right, you try. I think it. you may have just fucked us. There are going to be zombies everywhere. All right, um. Sir, sir, please, I, I'm going to need you to stop. I'm going to get on the fucking ground or I'll kill you. I swear to fucking God, they'll blow your brains out, you maniac. Call him a fuck face. You fuck face. Pop! Pop one! Pop one next to his ear! Yeah! Very economical. Dominic. It's an honor. Officer Dominic, you just graduated. Hell yeah, <laughs> one part of training. Yes, next part of training is, uh... Help me... Build... A symbol of light... In this shit, shit city of darkness. 
Well, I think the first step would be to go kill the uh, undead. It's not a bad step. It's not a bad step of making an egg. I'll get the start on it. Uh, I don't think there's any more on the bottom floor. How'd you like that taste? That was justice right there, Dominic. That was just a taste. That was just an appetizer. I thought that was manslaughter. They're not men anymore, Dominic. They're on drugs. Oh. Popping. It's all weird. That's all I know. You know, it could be they got in a confrontation with somebody that was uh, ex-law enforcement, and they killed him. And uh, I guess maybe he just kind of exaggerated the truth. A possibility. I should always stay on our toes, especially since we just met him today. Exactly. I mean, we got another meeting with them tomorrow, but who knows if that could go south. Yeah. We live to fight another day, I guess. 
Yeah. Probably he said set he, up, he, uh, they would meet close, though, because when we went in and saved his leg, though, so. Who knows, maybe we can get him to meet in here on our, on our turf. I mean, with uh, my logistical expertise, we could probably set up some trade between the, uh, between the areas. Yeah. I my thought as well, but who knows. He he literally offered us a car before he even broke his leg, so it can't be all I bad. Mean, can they? Here's the thing, though. Did he expect you to open the car yourself? Did he expect you to walk no. onto the landmark? No. Okay. No. He blew uh, up. And if, then he uh, showed me where the other landmines are that they fucking put. That uh, these guys that hop the fence put. No, that's so true. If not he, if he wanted to, yeah, if he wanted to see him step on a landmine, he would have mentioned anything about it. He would have put it on the uh, road leading up to his base. Alright. I don't know. I'll follow your lead, Jason, of course. Uh... Hopefully. Hey, we gotta trust some people. Yeah. Can't trust everybody. <laughs> oh, I know, but sure as hell try. Well, another tidbit of, uh, you know, philosophy for you is that, uh... It's not that, you know, you don't trust anybody, it's just that ain't nobody to be trusted. Oh, I know. Right, <laughs> right about that. And it makes me wonder, you like if, uh, if Jason didn't trust anybody, fuck, I don't even, I don't even think we'd all be in this call together. Yeah, if, uh, if you didn't trust anybody, I would be, uh, dead in a room in Zelenikors right now, so. <laughs> yeah, well. You know what I say? I say we trust people because we can handle it. If shit goes south. Ah, I finally breathe a fucking sigh of relief. Holy shit. <laughs> Welcome home, boys. You made it. Well, I Makes guess I'll drop off the, uh, the old vest. I'm gonna donate my Pioneer, so, you know. <laughs> Here, come on, then. i tell you what. Just cause, uh... <laughs> hey, Doc. One second. We fucking made it. Yeah, we did. We fucking made it, Doc. This is my, uh... That we did. Let's bring it in, Doc. <laughs> of course. Alright, alright. Yeah. That's enough. Three seconds. Okay. Still, yeah, no. yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Any more than three seconds here, yeah, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Tell you, it make, makes, makes you uh, appreciate this place a little bit more when you got your ass clenched for about two hours. I was with the mask clenched. I was up on, but I was in the tiger's den. Hey, was it? Uh, I mean, like the first, the first part of the meeting was fine. I could see, I could see the guy, and uh, you know, if fucking shit went south, we had a shot. But the second time, you know, that's when I was worried because I couldn't see. We didn't really have a line of view on shit. Yeah, that was pretty bad. It was very fortunate. You get a line. Very fortunate for us. Yeah, then when we heard that fucking uh, explosion, fuck me. Yeah, I was uh, I was sweating on that one. Yeah, we thought that was the fucking, we thought shit was going south there for a second. Ah, Jason kept in the control as usual. <laughs> fucking Ryan here has the ears of a goddamn eagle. He said immediately, landmine. Uh, salt, or, uh, foolproof vest, come on. <coughs> but anyway, thus. Yeah. Oh, Jason, I was gonna ask, do these spare holsters? Uh, you Sadly, want to... no. Uh, now, Jason, uh, next time, uh, is there any way we can work at a meeting next time? This, like, right. Fucking uh, right by your house. 
Uh, sure, but, uh, from now on, Doc, you're gonna keep this in your private quarters. It's lighter, and you're gonna be forced to wear it when we do this shit. No ands, ifs, or buts about it. Yeah. Alright, sounds good. If anything happened to Doc, I'd be raging a fucking war right now. I'd be fucking tits up. Goddamn grenades, guns. I'd be killing women and children. Hey, don't go that far. Alright, yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. All right. Nobody fucks with their doc. Who's there at HQ? Really? What do you mean? There's somebody at HQ. What? That's uh... That's a flashlight. Yeah, you, you got... Sure? It is, it is. That's terrifying. Yeah, some, uh, do we want to go say hi? Fucking A. Uh, damn right. <laughs> Fuck, how do we oh. get a quiet Let's move. I'm staying here. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought the same thing. It's, uh, it's a high, too, uh, pretty high jump. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Somebody's a little curious. You doc, you coming? Doc staying. That's fine, I'd rather have him there. Everybody, we're gonna surround him, point guns at him, and ask him what the fuck he's doing here. Roger that. Flashlight's off, I don't know where he went. Yep. Hey. Right here. Freeze, don't move. Hands up, motherfucker. Hey. Identify yourself. You bet it. Do you, do you speak? Yo. Who is it? it? It's me. Oh, fucking. Guys, put your guns down. The fuck? Sorry, man. Goddamn. Goddamn, got a fucking. Jesus. Fucking well, dropped one of my pants. fucking light at the front gate. I mean. I didn't know how the fuck Someone to respond. Out. Here. Alright, then come on. You gotta get examined by the doctor, at least. Uh, I do have, have a little bit of a cough. That's fine. Come on. Yeah, this is one of the uh, new recruits, guys. Yeah, it's uh, nice, nice to meet you, bud. What's your name, by the way? I tell you uh, what, Luke. I. Luke? Alright, my, my fucking butt cheeks can't take no more clinching tonight. Yeah, we just met with the vanguards. Get sweat I don't drip. Know if you heard that or not? Get fucking sweat dripping off my tits. You haven't met him yet. Needs a checkup. Oh my god, more of you coming like ants. Fucking funnel cake. <laughs> Is it like his first day? No. Here, okay, so uh, Doc, I'll fresh. light up your office. Sure, road roll flare chemical equipment. But you. I got you. Americans, swear. Come upstairs. Child? You sent the child into my office? Yeah. Jesus, man. He was alone out there. What else was I supposed to do? 
I don't know, give a child a gun though, still. I should make him a child is a weapon. He's not gonna know how to use it. He knows enough. Can't send a kid out there right now not fucking having any weapon, especially against those fucking things. Well, if he gets sure. cornered, the knife sure as hell ain't gonna do it. <coughs> That's fair. Well, Jason, I trust in your good wisdom. This kid dies. <laughs> Say. He thinks Anyways. he's going to war. I'm not uh, sending him into war. Okay. Bad He'll be back here with you, probably being your assistant. So you show him all the medical shit you can. Things were good for us then. We didn't know how good we had it, to be honest. Soon, the second meeting with the Vanguard would happen. Things got even better. Vanguard marriage with Jackson. And things were looking up. If only I knew now what I knew then. Maybe I could have saved myself a lot of bloodshed. Luke would no longer be with us soon. The doctor would off himself. And Jason. Yeah, poor fucking Jason. Really miss these guys. Maybe I'd see him again one day.